everybody welcome back to the channel today for one i want to say this real quick it's beautiful out it's about 63 degrees we've got high wind right now that's fine but it's actually nice out today and i'm excited but i'm gonna show you something i've been wanting to do to my bed slide um i know a lot of you watched the bed slide video uh found it helpful it's a cheap alternative to basically similar stuff you can buy for I don't know, 1, 1500 bucks. So let me flip the camera here. All right, so here's the bed slide you all remember. What I'm gonna do, do that a little bit, I just gotta get my work stuff out of here. But what I'm gonna do is something very simple, but uh, I think it's gonna be very helpful. We're gonna add some D-rings, anchor mounts to it. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, you might not say, you might not care, like I don't care. But I've got these gold ones here. I already had these, and I've got three of them. And so you can see I had three of them. Well, the other one's in the shop because I don't need it now. But anyways, I had three that was being used on an old old thing that I, that I made for, um, actually for resistance bands uh, working out. And I don't use that, that board anymore, so I took these three off. I have the fourth D-ring, but I couldn't find the bracket that goes to it. So I went to Home Depot and I was just gonna buy another pack of these and of course you can't find them anywhere. So now we got these Husky black ones, which is fine. These are rated at 600 pounds. I'm never ever gonna have uh, strapping down something to 600 pounds. But anyways, the plan is I'm gonna put six on this thing all together. So basically we're just gonna split it, you know, we'll put three on each side. Um, it'll pretty much be, get this drill out of the way. Pretty much go something like here. We'll come in maybe, I don't know, maybe a foot in or so and do a foot in from the back side and then uh yeah we'll put ones in the center of that so let me get the camera all set up here and i'll get this thing pulled out and unloaded and we'll get working on it guys so got it unloaded real quick I know I originally said I was gonna come in 12 inches but I find that here's my mark eight inches looks to be a little better I want to give me a time point closer to here I'll do eight inches from the back and then we'll split the center and put the center ones in so basically it's pretty simple really um, what I want to do is I don't know how crazy in depth I want to get on getting these perfect here so right there is where we're at, so our center, let's go here, actually I'm going to come up a little bit from that center line, so we're right there, and now all we got to do is line it up, get them straight, mark our holes, now one thing you want to do is, you don't want to drill a great big hole starting out on this, and I'm going to show you why here in a second this bit out. We'll be using that bit, just not right at the second. So this is just kind of our, our pilot hole. Not kind of, it's exactly what it is, is a pilot hole. So there's our two holes. There we go. Now, when this bedside slides, in and out of here, I'll show you. It's sitting pretty tight up in here, you can see. So we can't have our hardware sticking out the back side here. So what we're gonna do is, uh, oops, sorry guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to do all this one handed. Anyhow, I have a three quarter inch, and you can see that, yeah, three quarter inch Forstner bit. So we're gonna basically countersink this so all the hardware stays, you know, obviously inside i'm gonna to try to film this and drill for y'all okay i don't know how good it's gonna be it's about all we want right there all right Woo. that wind blowing the to dust today all right so now what we're gonna do is we got flat washers because we don't want this to pull the way through. Actually, you know what? I was wrong. First, <laughs> let me uh, shut the camera off. Gotta get, now we can do it with you guys on here. 
It'd be all right. So the bolts we're using are a quarter 20 by three quarter inch. I think they're three quarter, maybe they're half inch. Uh, let me tell you real quick what they are. Three quarter inch. So now we need to get us a quarter inch drill bit and make our hole bigger, which in all reality, we could probably just use a quarter when we pre-drill the next ones, I would assume. All right, guys, so anyways, now we're gonna drill this out to our quarter inch. All right, now the flat washers are gonna go inside your hole. And they actually fit perfect because they're three quarter inch round flat washers. Oops, that one's not wanting to sit up in there very good. That's all right. So now I'm gonna steal this hardware off of this one for a moment. And what we're gonna do is go bolt, bolt. Don't forget to put your D-ring up in there first. Push them in the hole. There you go. And knock the washers off. All right. <laughs> now you just need enough for it to bite on there. And you'll be good. Obviously, we're going to tighten this down with the impact, just, you know, don't get stupid crazy with it. So I wash it kind of biting me on this side, just a little. Don't you hate it when you're trying to film a video of a how to do something, and then you got something so simple as a flat washer fighting you. There we go. Alright, I'm going to set this to a, a 1 on my torque because I'm not trying to split it all up. Alright, maybe 1 is not enough for the off nut. So that's what we end up with guys right there just a nice little d-ring it'll stay out of the way but it's there when you need it now on this side you can see the hardware is it's flush inside it so it's not gonna mess up the slide i just tightened it up till the head of the bolt came almost whoops almost flush with the nut so i'm not going to bore you with the other five that i got to put on but i will film it we'll do it in fast forward motion so we'll be back
Alright guys, bedside is done. I'm back in the truck. Show you. So you can see I got a bungee cord hooked up. Kinda of there for the fun of it right now, but yeah, we got D rings. Six of them now. Three on each side. Uh flush mounted, so they don't get in the way of the slide track at all. And I went ahead and finally put me a backboard on it. Just to, just because, I guess. It wasn't really necessary. I didn't find a need for it in the almost year that I've had this bedside, but I guess it will make it nicer because I don't know how far back I can put stuff and it's not going to get in the way or fall off or anything, but everything still functions just like before. So if you want to add some D rings to yours, go to Home Depot or whatever hardware store you got, buy you some. Put them in there. I used three quarter inch, quarter 20 uh, screws with lock nuts and a three quarter inch Forstner bit to drill the holes into the back side where the nut goes through so that way things flush mounted. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching part two of the bedside.